minister with us, Reverend Samuel Abiola. Reverend, hey, How Pastor, I'm very strong. How is ministry, Reverend? Ah, as for the ministry, today, you have to know. Hmm, Mark 16 15. You know, he told us, go ye into the world and do what? And preach the gospel to all what? All nations. So, as for the ministry work, we are obeying what the scripture said. We should go into the, into the, the world as we are doing this afternoon or this evening. <laughs> you know, we are reaching out to people. That is the word. That we are doing the work of God in this world. End times. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah. Yes. So, Rev, you uh -huh. have wasted my time. We want to go into some deep conversation with you. Yes, I mean, like deep things. It is always a joy mm -hmm. and exciting mm -hmm. to have you. Thank God. So when we get you like this, Abba. we want to engage you in deep secrets. That is what I like. So that you will reveal more secrets for us. I will not hide one, Kura. Without wasting much time, Rev, mm -hmm. what are some of the things that God has created mm -hmm. to make us successful, we human beings, successful in this life? Very good question. Highly important question. Yes, I like hey, this kind of question. What are the things that Almighty God created exactly. that can make a man what, successful? Yeah. Now, everything on this planet that Almighty God created hmm, has both positive and negative what, effects. Now, they are all important. Either positive or what, negative. Each positivity can help us succeed. And also, its negativity can also help us succeed. You get it? Someone will say, ah, how can negative things um, 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 what, help us? Let's say you are a doctor. When I don't fall sick, will you get money? No. Ah, but sickness is bad. It's not a negative thing. Yes, it is. Yes. When you buy a new car and the car does not break down, hmm, will the weather get money to survive? Never. Yes. So, God is so wise. Everything he created is highly important. So, when I should come straight to your question and answer what God created that can make man succeed here, there are so many. Everything under this planet, from the day of creation, everything he created from the first day to the sixth day <laughs> was highly important. All those things, the herbs, the waters, the, the skies, the moon, the sun, the fishes, everything, 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 uh -huh, that is nature. Everything that you tell is called what? Nature. You understand? Now, when I should start from the waters, yes. Waters can make man succeed. Yes. Brother, when you wake up in the morning, what is the first thing you do? Taking water. Yes. You drinking what? Water. After that, what do you use water to do again? You bath. You bath. You wash your face. You brush your heart. Your teeth. teeth. Yes. That these are physical uses of what? Water. water. Mm -hmm. There are also spiritual uses of what? Water. That can make man what succeed. Let's say uh, one of the biggest water. You know, in the in the in the beginning, God said he created the water. He divided or separated water from where? The land. Yes. You see, that was demarcation of what? Um the, the world. Now, when you take the sea. The sea has got its spiritual importance and both physical importance to the success of man. The sea contains salt. Exactly. When you taste it, it tastes what? Salty. Forever it will taste what? Salty. Spiritual importance of the sea. See, if you have suffered in this world, you do business, it is not going. Hmm? You do anything, you are not succeeding. Just go and get the sea water. Especially on Monday. One gallon of what? Sea water on what? Monday. On that Monday, come and bath only the sea water. Bath it from Monday to, uh, how do you call it? The following Monday. And let's see whether anything you do will not succeed. So, Rev, are you saying that? Mm -hmm. Sea water. Ah, sea water. Hmm. If I am doing business, it's not going. Huh. Uh -huh. I'm struggling. Mm -hmm. There is hardship. Mm -hmm. Things are not working well for me. Mm -hmm. The sea water that God has created, uh -huh. I should bath with the sea water on Monday, yeah. from Monday to Monday. Mm -hmm. Pastor, you are wasting time. Wow. You are wasting time, wow. brother. That is why I say there is no need in it. See what? Uh, you want me to charge, Okura? And yeah, let me charge it. Let me charge. If I want to tell you the number of angels in the sea, see, they are both good and bad spirits in the sea, but the majority of them are good spirits. 
When I want to tell you the number of angels in the sea, Nuclear, I don't even know the number. There are numerous numbers of angels, spirits, in the sea. You understand? Mm -hmm. So the sea, you know, we call it a buffing spirit. You see? It has the power to buff all evil things away. Look at the nature of the sea. When the air blows the sea to the shore, what does it do? Doesn't it clean the shores of the, 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 the beach? It does. Yes. So it buffs human beings, spiritually and physically. That is why when someone goes to prison and comes, they say, Hey, master, go and bath sea water. So that that bad luck will never come into the life of that person again. See, hmm, I do, don't look with sea water. Sea water, sea water. Ah, see, let me let me go deep into the waters. Sea water is there. There is a river, river called River Jordan. That was where they went to baptize who? Jesus. Jesus Christ. That River Jordan, you could have one in my, in, in my house. If it was close, I can show it. You see the waters of Crescium? Mm -hmm. I'm starting with water. Ha! Huh? That water. Why didn't John the Baptist go and baptize people in a different water? Apart from that water. It was that water now Jesus had his baptism. Now, there was confusion at that time. John the Baptist was baptizing people. Jesus went. Then he said, ah, John, you know, you are baptizing people. Me too, it is my turn. Baptize me. John said, no, master. You are greater than me. You have to baptize me. He said, no, John. Why the issue has reached here? It is not master matter. I need this power. There is power in river what? Jordan. You get me? Yes. He said, no, I will not do it. He said, master. John, please, humble yourself and do this job for me because I need it. So, John the Baptist agreed. He emerged, who? Jesus, into the water three times. Now, read what the Bible said. And the Bible is, and the Spirit of Almighty God descended from heavens like what? A dove. Hmm. Water. We don't joke with water. That is River Jordan. Let me send you to our great prophet Moses. There are times with the Egyptians. Hmm? The Red Sea. Where is my Red Sea? Next time I will bring it. Red Sea. See, it is a sea specially made for our enemies. Oh, okay. Yes, spiritually and physically. Let me prove it to you. When Moses, God, God, Exodus 14, 14, told Moses, Moses told God, ah, God, no, God told Moses, say that, my people, Moses, the Lord shall fight for you, and he shall hold your heart, your peace. 14, 15, Moses was calling God. God told Moses, you are disturbing me, Moses. Stop calling me. What do you have in your hand? He said, I have a rod. The power is in the rod. Stretch the, the road toward the Red Sea. It shall divide. And you and the Israelites will cross safely. Now, when he did that and they passed through the what? The Red Sea. And they reached the other end of the sea. You know, what happened? The Red Sea crashed all the Egyptians. Yes. Was it not true? It's true? It crashed all their what? Their enemies. Now, when you have Red Sea or you have the chance to go to where the Red Sea it is physically red. Oh. Physically red like this. It's not just a name called Red Sea. It is physically Red Sea, like the seashore we have here. You get it? Red! <laughs> Next time I will show it to you. Hey. Now, that one, when you have small one like this bottle, and I raise it and pour it on your head, every problem, hardship, problems, every disease, spiritually or physically, everything will crash. Everything will what? It will crash. See, these are the things Christians we need to know. River Jordan is there. Red, 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 red sea is what? Is there. The sea at our back here now is there. They are all there to solve the issues of what? God. Or, or problem from God. You understand? <clears throat> Let me take you to the lagoon water. Lagoon water. You can combine lagoon water with the sea water and maybe well water. And you bath three days. Whatever is the bothering you in this life, it will go. Every, ah, another water. The rain. You take or you see rainwater without touching the this thing, the roofing seat directly. Mix that one with a lagoon water, sea water, and well water, four corners of the world. Brother, whatever you are promoting, success, favor, you go to the job, they are not picking you. The life has become so hard for you. Nature, don't joke with nature. Everything God created has got importance to help man. These four waters, combine them and bath, you are done. 
You are then promotion. What do you want in life? What do you want in life? Everything you get. Hmm. If I want to go into the water, dear brother, it will rain. Let me add coconut water. It's an, is it not another water? It's, it's water. <laughs> it's water. As for the coconut water, dear, it's bonus. I've dashed it to people, uh, to the new members. Where is my coconut to cry? Uh -huh. Pastor, give me my coconut. Yes, you see the coconut. Mm -hmm. The water in it. This one. This one. Hmm. Uh, two. There is a direction. Okay. The coconut water there. I've been teaching the new members. Go and buy fresh coconut. You get me? Just um, peel off the, the pills, you know. The, the, the shells, you know. Pour the water in your bath. The water for bath. And just bath. Don't use your towel. Uh, if you can do it, maybe um, two, three times a week. The frequency you do it, you know, the more your blessings. And understand, this is nature. This one is all healthy human being. This one, two CD. Heart disease, heart diseases, heart attack. Hmm? All forms of heart diseases, this one, it will clear it. This one will clear it. Hey, what is the name? Um, low, low, low sexual, what, what, no? Sexual weakness, coconut. Hey, never joke with coconut. Poor vision, poor vision, poor vision, coconut. You don't know nature here. Mm -hmm. So I was on which is you pray now? Water. Yes. The water. Yes. yes. As for water, they don't joke with water. The water has got great power. So God said, I promise and I pledge, I will never use water to destroy what. So I'm giving the the, 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 the positive aspect of what? Water. Let me move to the herbs. Uh -huh. Let me move to the herbs. Before that one, let me give this one free to to. To people, see people pray, 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 and no results. And I see them, and I laugh at them, especially with the Christians. Water again, when the rain is falling, you see, no spirit on this planet works. Wow, yes, when the rain is falling, no good or evil spirit works. So, when it's raining, you can go and stand in the rain and pray, it will work. Ask for anything, it will work. Check me. You can see me at night when it's raining. I mean, the rain praying. Whatever I'm looking for to work. It's not a matter of going to a prayer mountains and going to fasting. And... Ah, me, I don't remember the day I did fast. Hey, but go and tilapia is there. You are saying fasting. <laughs> the way you like me, go and tilapia. No, pastor, I like. <laughs> what am I looking for? for? I'm going to pray. Hmm. For when I see posters, seven days, fourteen days, twenty-one days. Hmm. Are you people body here? Hmm. You there? Continue doing the fasting. When you get the ulcer, you you come, you collect your money and you talk. Mm -hmm. Stand in the rain and just pray. Whatever you are looking for, you get it. That's the power of water. Let me go to the herbs. Uh -huh. Send me to Genesis 1 9. And let me prove another power to you. Or 119. Let me see something there. Genesis chapter 1, verse 19. Uh-huh. And the evening and the morning were the fourth day. Okay. Verse 20. Uh -huh. And God said, God said, let the waters bring forth abundantly the moving creatures okay. that have life mm -hmm. and fowl uh -huh. that may fly above the earth in the open firmament of heaven. Okay, land me there. Let me give you something concerning the, the best. Where is talking about best? Yes. <laughs> People are funny. Sure, nature. I'm showing you things that you can do that, you can be successful in life. Last time I was teaching people on Facebook, they should get animals in their houses. You there, do yourself here, rich man. The day you will be crashed down, you look for us. People have built nice houses and they fill their house with tiles. Tiles for what? They don't even have a help in their, in their house. You are joking. The day you faint, you have to look for tomato leaf. You just squeeze it and drop it in your nose. People should stop their beautification with this uh, modernization kind of object and plant herbs in their house. The fowl is you. People should look for black fowl. Black what? Fowl. It should be in their heart, their house. Now, when someone throw you to do, or when you are jinxed by someone, the black fowl fed animal, it has the power to attract the degree to not touch you the owner. You get me? So when you go to the traditional houses, when they throw someone to do a the wing of the black fowl, or just a feather of the black fowl, they'll use it on your body like this. It will pull all the negative energy or the do away. You see nature? Yeah. This is
something which can help you, money. True or false? True. Yes. Hmm. Yeah. You don't know it here. Uh -huh. Like that. Let me see. Send me to verse 19 and let me see something. Verse 19. Uh huh. And the evening and the morning were the fourth day. Okay. Verse 20. Okay. And God said. God said. Let the waters bring forth abundantly the moving creatures uh -huh. that had life mm -hmm. and fowl mm -hmm. that will fly above the earth in the open firmament of heaven. You dear, send me to verse 12. Verse 12. I want to talk on the heavens and sana. Verse 12. Yes. And, and the earth brought forth grass. Oh, it's, and repeat the end what? And the earth uh -huh. brought forth grass. Uh -huh. Continue. And and hell. It's okay. It is here. It's nice. Am I the one who told God to bring the grass? No. Or the hell? No. So God commanded the earth to bring forth what? Grass. Yes. And what? Yes. Sam is here. You, you asked me a question. Importance of nature yes. to the success of man. Yes. We are pastors. We need to have spiritual eye. We need to have good dreams. For you to have such things, what has given you the provisions already? This plant. You see, you can see something white, like, uh, how do we call it? An eye on it. Yes. Hmm. You get me? Something like an eye. This one is mainly for what? Visions. It's mainly for what? Visions. Yes. Above this one, above this one, every day, every day, your vision should be correct. Spiritual eye, there is a way you can use this one to get spiritual eye. I can't teach that one here. Helps. This one. Promise and feel disappointment, hardships. It will clear everything. It will clear what? Everything. Do you get me? Yes. Hmm. Okay. Um. What do I even touch on? We have honey here. Yes, right. Honey. Uh -huh. Honey too is a natural product God made. This one, I'll show you countless times. Get a bottle of one, original one. Hey! Look at that, Drew. Hold it there, let me see. Wow. Hmm. This is heavy. Thank you, that is the way. It is what? Heavy and thick. Yes! Original hot. Honey. It's not fake honey. Me, my life, I don't like fake things. Everything has to be what? Original. When was the last time you saw an original honey before? Mm, it's been a while. Be a while and pa it is like pastors. Original pastors has become very difficult these days. Original pastors, they become very difficult what? These days. Hmm. Media, I have my original one. This one, success of men. This one alone. Hey, this one if it is in your room like this, keke, evil spirits cannot enter. Honey, keke, in your room, evil spirits cannot what? Enter and see it. Naturally, the power is in God has made it so. You get me? Yes, yes. This one. Drop. If you're a man, drop three spoons, three teaspoons or tablespoons in your water every morning. If you're a woman, drop how I many? Four. And just bath. Ah, what is promising for disappointment and stress? Oh, for where? Forever. Everything will be going on successfully for, for you. There are so many things I can talk of. Come on, sugar. Mm hmm. Sugar, sugar. Pastor, test it and see if it is sugar or not. Mm hmm. It is sweet. It's sugar. I like the way. It is what? Sugar. Sweet. Uh, well, yo. Yeah. Mm hmm. See. Nature. Put sugar in your bath every blessed day and bath. And your life will be sweet. As simple as that. Put honey in your bath and bath. And every day your life will be what? Sweet marriages, women need sugar and honey in their marriages. Christians, our marriages are not sweet, they are bitter. Disturbing pastors and counselors every day. My husband, my niece, no, put sugar and honey in your bath and pray. God, let my marriage be sweet. Let my husband what love me. Let my wife what ah, I can go deep with this one. This one, hey, this one, and some hair will be. If I show you, you are a man and your wife is being um, rough, rough. It's flexing. You, I'll show you some help. You attach with this one. You rub the tip of your penis and sleep with your woman. Hmm, true. Hmm, it's not a joke. 
The woman you can do the same. You capture men, you capture your husband. He will never go outside. This honey and that heaven. Not talk plenty. Brother, if you have some past there, some questions, yeah, let's go. I mean, they have My fellow go. viewers, I believe that we are learning so much this afternoon. Yes. Or this evening, wherever uh, you are. Mm -hmm. I tell you that anytime we had Reverend with us, hmm. you don't have a problem. Why will you have a problem? You don't have a problem. Hey. The train has already started moving. And we are moving to our next question. You don't even have the relation, Kura. If all these things that you have touched on, yes. God created them mm -hmm. to help the success of mankind. Yes. Under this sun and in this life, mm -hmm. then why is it that Christians, after all our <laughs> fasting and prayers and all the all nights that we have been going every Friday and every Sunday morning, we still have more problems and uh, we are suffering? Oh, I like this. Your Rev, question, Rev, why? What is happening? It is simple. This question there is class one question. Hmm, Pastor, send me to Hosea. Hosea. The Bible will speak for itself. Hosea 4 verses. You can take my own. It is here. While people are, are, are suffering, people, Christians, all over, not only Christians, so the whole world. Hosea chapter 4 verse 6. Uh -huh. My people are destroyed. Oh, he's with you. He's with who? My people uh -huh. are destroyed. You are destroyed. Because, because they don't know me. Oh, uh -huh. and it is all your fault. It is whose fault? Your fault. They don't know who. who. You priests. Uh -huh. For you yourself refuse to know me. Wait. Hey. What does? What is another word for priest? Pastor. Thank you. Uh -huh. So pastor is another word. And then he said. Wait. But, um, um, take your time. Pastor, pastor is there. Uh -huh. Osafo is there. Uh -huh. Evangelist, Evangelist is there. Evangelist is there. Prophet is Prophet there. Prophet is there. You see? Yes. Now they say Samus and uh, what, what? Apostle. Apostle. They Bishop. are all there. Yes. So he's saying that we know the followers. We don't know God. The, he's, and he's mentioning all these <laughs> titles, the pastors and his friends. They to the what? They don't know him. <laughs> so, hey, hey, Pastor, wait. Let me talk to my viewers. You see what God is telling you? Hmm. You know, you say you are a Christian, you are worshiping God. God is telling you, you don't know Him. You get me? He says you don't what? know Him. And He says your pastors, your priests, they also yes. don't know who? God. He God. Hmm. Let's go. Why? I want, to, I want to open your eyes. Hmm. Therefore, therefore, I refuse to recognize you as my priest. This is the most dangerous statement on this planet. Because you don't know the God we are worshipping, God said he has refused to what? Know you as his what? Pastor. Priest. So you know, you are following a pastor who does not know God. God who does not know that pastor. So you know, you are more than a blind person. So how will you pray? How will you pray for Almighty God to answer your prayers? Because your leader is not recognized by the creator. And the creator does not recognize your, your leader. So you are all lost or blind. That is why... Previously, I used to say Christians are blind. We have lost. Ah, why are you surprised, Pastor? <laughs> Move on and let's go on. Ah. Since you have forgotten my laws. Aha! Uh -huh. Wait, he said, since you have forgotten what? My laws. Let me give them one of the laws. Now, there is a law God made. Genesis 20 34. He told Prophet Moses that Moses, take these ingredients. You get me? And do this what? Holy incense. And my children or my people should burn it in front of me and pray. It's a law. You come to Exodus um, the, the, the 28, you know, somewhere like that. Time. He said, Moses, take these spices and do these ingredients and make it a holy anointing hot oil. It is a law God gives. Eh. People, people, are, people are lost. Then another law, Hebrews 9 9. As for this quotation, I will never leave it. He said, When someone worships God and the person suffers, these are the things the person should get. Food, food stuffs, mm -hmm. different kinds of foods. The person should put them together and go and give it to the poor. And different kind of spiritual what? Baths. So if your pastor does not know this kind of works, that means he doesn't know who? God. Why does he need no God? Because he's not following the laws of what? The God. So how will God see you? You see how serious this thing is? Very serious. Highly serious. Very, very that is why many Christians pray no results. 
Many Christians do the fasting as you are saying, no results. Even the fasting they are doing, it is wrong. That is why he says, hey, send me to Isaiah 58. Hmm. Isaiah 58. Isaiah 58. Isaiah 58. Pastor Reed, I'm going. Shout with the voice of triumph. Shout with the voice of a trumpet blast. Tell my people of their sins. Uh -huh. Yet they act so pious. Okay. They come to the temple every day mm -hmm. and are so delighted to hear the reading of my laws. Okay. Just as though they would obey them. Uh -huh. Just as though they don't despise the commandment of their God. Wait, he said, just as though they don't despise the laws or the commandment of what? Their God. Uh huh. Then it continue. Continue for me. How anxious, how eager they are to they worship correctly. I like, oh. I like this Bible too much. You see, that means there is a correct form of what? Worship. <laughs> nah, too. There's a correct form of what? Worship. <laughs> so when you go to school, you did 30 teach you 1 plus 1 is 2. And you go and write 1 plus 1 is 4. Are like. you not deviated? You have. Mom. Would the teacher mark you wrong or correct? Wrong. Or if you're particular, they will beat you. So when you are, you are following pastors or you listen to pastors who don't have correct teachings or correct forms of worship, how do you expect God to answer your prayers? Yeah. Or to succeed in life? Brother, to succeed in life is not about prayers. About following the commandments of God. That is why God said, Obedience is better than what sacrifice. Obey my laws. God has made the law. Use anointing oil. You say you will not use. Burn incense. You say I'm burning my incense. So no evil spirit can pass here. You can't because this is a holy thing. God said, Burn it. You say you will not burn and you want to succeed in life. You see, so God says you do whatever you like. Continue. He said, oh, uh -huh. how they love the temple oh, services. Eh, day in and day out. Monday, church service. Tuesday, church service. Wednesday, church service. Thursday, church service. Friday, prayer. Saturday, cry now people are doing church. Saturday, cry. I saw some church is doing church. Every day, they love to go to church. Uh -huh. Continue. He said, verse 3. Uh -huh. We have fasted before you. Oh, uh -huh. they, say, they say, why aren't you impressed? Why don't you see our sacrifices? Okay. Why don't you hear our prayers? Abba, it's okay. It's okay. They said we have fasted before you, before you God. You don't know the God you are fasting. <laughs> you don't know the God that you are fasting. And God is not listening to their prayers or you are facing their fasting. What did he say them? He said, Why don't you hear our prayers? Ah, we have done much. Penance. It's a penance. Pastor, this message is very serious. It's very, it's, it's very what? Serious. Serious, very serious. God is telling people that. That means we pray and God does not what? <laughs> Why don't you hear our what? That means we pray God does not what? <laughs> you see the voice of people. Hmm? So someone will say, Pastors will tell you, oh, as for God in the earth, when he takes his stone, he doesn't throw it early. So Satan he throws his stones early. The third day you threw the stone at Goliath, did you stay for years? No, please. For Goliath to target his mission. For his mission to come true. How long did he take? Oh, just for a second. Ah. Hmm. Was God not with David? He was with him. Goliath said, I come in the name of the gods of my land. David said, I also come in the name of God, the Father, and the Word. When he threw the stone, how many sec seconds did it take for Goliath to fall down? Few seconds. So which of the gods are the Christians and the pastors telling me that when this God throws his stone now, he doesn't <laughs> reach his target early? David threw his stone, went early. How much more the God himself? You see how ignorant our pastors are? You see? It's very serious. This God has not thrown his stone early. You are sleeping. Let's move on. Uh huh. He told them. He told them. I will tell you why. Oh. Because mm. you are living in evil pleasures. Okay. Even while you are fasting. Yes. And you keep right on oppressing your workers. Wait. Let me enter there. See. Workers. 
People are heads of companies. People have businesses. And they oppress their workers. The wages their workers are supposed to get, they don't get. The salary they are supposed to get, the incentives and benefits, benefits they don't give them. You know those kind of rich people, they always have problems in their life. And they will continue to suffer unless they change those kind of activities. That is why they say, even in their fashion and in their worship, they do evil things. Yes. You are the manager or the proprietor of a school. When is due for you to pay your teachers, you don't pay them the correct, correct amount. The incentive they are supposed to get, you don't get. So such a person, you see that the wife does not have a child. And it's going to be a problem for that person. That person, every day, he has a very huge disease, diabetes. You spend money on that place, uh, on that hospital, or that disease, it will never go. That person, see, he's little, but all his children, in Kwasa, some children, children you never understand they do evil never oppress your worker you get me give them what is due for them now one old man told me no rich man can ever spend his money alone no rich man no matter how stingy you are someone will always spend your money some you get me yes so do not what oppress your workers people are wicked people in church is old Hmm? They are weak the way they treat people, even in our churches. You can see differences between the poor and the rich. How the pastors even treat them. I mean, I know plenty churches. They pay attention to the rich people and leave the poor people. Ah, in this Ghana, when you are poor, can you attain any position in the church? <laughs> see, if you don't ride in a car or you don't have a good job, but you are sensible, you have wisdom. Will they ever bring you to the altar to sit at that table? So that is not God's worship. That is what God is telling us. You get me? It is not the one who has money. It is the one who has the, the knowledge. That is what God says. I don't look at the sight of men. I look at the altar. Continue, Pastor. Verse 4. Mm -hmm. Look. Mm -hmm. What good is fasting? Okay. When you keep on fighting and quarreling. <laughs> ah. So, Christians, you are fasting and you are fighting. You are quarreling. You are insulting people. A pastor, if your fellow pastor is wrong, you reply back. No, oh. keep quiet. That's all. Don't reply. If you say you're a fake pastor, leave him. If you're a true pastor, leave him. Me, I am here. If you say my head is big, have, do I have any effect? No. If my head is small, do I have any no. Leave him. Because you're a pastor, you fight. And God says, in your fasting, don't insult anybody. If someone does something, give it. You get me? Move on. And he said, this kind of fasting will never get you anywhere with me. See, all these practices that you are looking for, and this fasting, see, it will never get where you anywhere with me. <laughs> so there's seven days, 14, 21 days, 30 days, 40 days. <laughs> Do you? Now, I mean, you, you see why they don't get the results. You see, the pastors in the churches are supposed to tell the people, brother, the sins you are committing stop so that God will listen to your prayers. Because people are fasting and they are doing evil works. You are fasting. Your sister's son or daughter is with you and you are mistreating her. You buy two shoes for your own children and you leave your sister's or your brother's children. Junior. And you expect the Almighty God to listen to your prayers. It will never happen. You get me? It will never what? Happen. It will never happen. Let's go. Is verse 5. Verse 5. Is this what I want? Ah, nice question. God is asking us that is this what he wants? <laughs> God don't mind you. That is why in the beginning he said, shout for the people to what? To hear, like how we are doing. We should speak the truth for people to hear. Uh -huh. Let's go. This doing of penance Fasting, uh -huh. and bowing like reds in the wind. Okay. And putting on sad clothes uh -huh. and covering yourself with ashes. Mm -hmm. Is this what you call fasting? Uh -huh. Is this not what you call? See, you say you are fasting. Pastor will say six to six. Don't eat. You see? Don't eat too. Okay, we hear. Six to six will come. You will pray. The six, you, you will wear it. The next day, seven days, 14, 21. Someone has spiritual marriage. The problem is there. Someone is looking for work. The problem is there. Someone is looking for marriage. Husband, children. You see, promotion. Still, the problems are where? There. What is asking you? Is this what I told you? Is 
it not the day a man will put on sackcloth? This is sackcloth, a yin tuma. Either black or what? Red. Yes. Nature. Lie this one on the ground. Put on ashes from the what? The fire. And sleep on it. This is. The Bible says, is this not what I call fasting? You boy, you've not heard this message before. Where are you that? Isaiah 58. Fasting. Morning to evening. Without sleeping on this one, then you say you are fasting. You are sleeping. That is why 100 years, your problems will never be solved. We are sleeping as men of God. We don't joke. Do you understand? Yes. We have to tell you the truth. If you like, it's not my business. Go ahead and try it. The day you were born, if it is Monday, Monday, lie on, lie, on, lie there. Red or the black roof and put ashes on it. Whatever you are looking for, pray. Just one day, you are said to call me and you see that yes. That is why I say our pastors, our leaders, you see our prophet, they have deceived God. Big time. Me, I'm not a bone. You can't deceive me. Me, don't try me, bro. You can't deceive me. Sure. I'll go to a pastor and you tell me I should go and fast. I'll, I'll ask you, Pastor, pastor me, I have us, I can't fast. If you have some solution, help me. Now this one here, <laughs> it will not work. Why is before the bank is there? Eh? Hmm. This is the true fast. Faster, ask another question. Let's do it. So, hmm. Robert, looking at all that you have shared with us, uh -huh. apart from all these things, hmm. has God still? Reveal certain things to you. So many things. So, so many things. That you can open it up to us to help us as we are watching you. Yes. So many things. So many things. Apart from the herbs and all the things you just spoke about. Uh -huh. Let me talk about prayers. Last time I was telling people on Facebook uh, in the post form that there are times we pray. God Himself uses time. How much more we use followers? Now, in the morning, from 3 o'clock to 6 o'clock, or 3 o'clock to 5.59, you have to pray. That is the time angels come. They take our prayers and send them up. Now, from 6 to 6 in the evening, God says, go and work. Till the soil, sweat and make ends meet, so that you don't become what? Poor. You can fend for your wife and children. You can marry two or three or four. That is another secret. Brother, Abraham, how many did he marry? You and I know in the Bible too. So which pastor is telling us that a Christian should marry one? You should come and challenge me. Isaac, how many did he marry? <laughs> two? Hey, David, how many? Was David not the friend of God? Solomon, who was closer to God than Solomon? Ah! If they be there, let your, your wife disturb you. Hmm. Your one marriage, you can't stand it. Your one marriage, you can't stand. You let pastors deceive you that. If not, your wife has committed um, how do you call it? adultery. You can't divorce her. You'll be there and suffer. Hmm. I was talking about what? Prayer. Prayer, yes. In the, in, the, in the evening, do your work. Now, in the night, God created everything systematically. In the night, you don't, you, you don't pray. You are supposed to sleep in the night so that your spirit will come out of your body. It will roam at different places. You get it? Then God will reveal what is supposed to happen to you in your dreams. You understand? So if you are someone who don't sleep in the night, you have problems. If you work in the night and you don't sleep, your business has to be strong. Because we have night workers. You have to get strong God. This is when you sleep in the daytime, you have to get correct dreams. Because God understands that you were working in the what? In the night. You get me? Yes. Uh -huh. Don't be praying in the night. 12 o'clock, 11 o'clock, 10 o'clock. When you are not strong like me. Now, no, me, my prayers, no, another revelation. People are praying um, against riches. Jesus, rulers of darkness, principalities. See, he didn't say we should pray against them. All. He said it is a wrestle. We wrestle not against flesh and what? Ah, did he say, why in the Bible did he say pray against evil workers? How did Jesus teach us how to pray? He said, and lead us into what? And even if we fall, like, deliver us from that what? Did he say we should pray against evil? 
people, people, people are lost. You see people on school bus shouting unnecessarily. Two, three, two, three, four days, one month. Once it is not in your pocket, they are playing against evil forces. Yeah. Spirits which have been there for millions of years, you have the mouth to talk against them. Is it wrong? Sorts of prayers are wrong. You understand? When you pray against such, such, such powers, such evil forces, now they tend to incur debt, hardships on your life. That is why people who pray a lot in the night don't have one CD in their pocket. So they pray and they say, Ah, God, why am I suffering this way? It is your own cause. Now, when they are even pray, look at how they pray. They say, I break, I destroy, I rebuke and torment. You are rebuking and tormenting. What power do you have to break and destroy? Mama. So God says, if you know how to fight or fight, you will never fight for, for you. Yes, you have to employ the Holy Ghost. So you say, Holy Ghost, any evil manipulation or evil enchantment in your life. Go and destroy those kind of people yeah. against my heart. That's all. That's all. You don't say I break. Now, when you say you break, the whole spirit will attack you. Spiritually, you don't know. You now you are spiritually dumb or dormant. You understand? Yes, it will attack. Attack your finances and other aspects of your life. So it will counter your life and you have problems. So me, I don't play against which is his friends. Me, Greg, are my friends. Yes, which is my friends. Eh? Some come to see me, Pastor. Mama, this this job they help me, I'll help them. Yes. But I don't help them for good things. Because God even brought the riches for them to disturb us. Is it not true? When you 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 you, you build your house, what do you put there? Is it not a gate? As protection. Don't you also build wall? Ask yourself, have you built protection against you? So if you have a boat or money in your house, and they keep to stay now, God will not mind you. God will never punish the thief because he told you to be wise like what? The serpent. You are supposed to protect your heart. I was telling one woman, God grace, you've gotten a handsome husband. He has money, good job. You are supposed to protect your husband or that wife you have been lucky to have. If you don't for protection, someone will steal his hair from you and you'll be suffering. Next time, they say by violence, you shall what? Ah, you'll be there. You'll be there. That is why even in our jobs, you have a position. Someone is doing whatever you do to take you away from that position and be there. But if you are protected, that will someone try you? Forever you'll be there. You understand? Christians, we are supposed to learn, not talk. Look at the way we pray, making noise. They have forgotten that in the Bible, someone went to pray, was shouting for everybody to see. Then God said, the one hiding at the corner, it is his prayers that I have heard. I have heard. This is, we don't need. To date, people are shouting in churches. Do you hear Muslims praying? Ah, we say we are worshiping. We are not worshiping. We are joking. Do you know why I say we are joking? <laughs> I'll prove everything to you. Ah, someone, when we talk of worship, there is an activity we do. When you say you worship something, now, this is one of the, the works you do. You worship her. If this is my God, I worship her. Every morning, when I wake up, I have to stand up and I will bow. My, my knees will be on the ground and my forehead on the what? Is that not worship? Yes. So the commandment, God told us that, do not bow before any other God. Do not what? So if you are not bowing to any other God, which God are you bowing? As Christians, which of them, the pastors or the followers, bow? With their forehead on the ground. Who? None of them. And you say you are worshiping God. You are you are sleeping. You are not even qualified to be called a Christian. You don't even have to mention the name of God because that was why he said God does not recognize the pastors. He does not also recognize what the people because the practices you are supposed to do no, you are never following the laws. Yes. Do not worship any other idol. Now you want to worship her like the fellow Muslims. Allah wa kubalu. Their knees are on the ground. And their forehead on the earth. And they say, God, you are great. That is worship. Pastor, true or false? There is a song in our local dialect. Yes, it. You see the kotodre hanging in the air like this. In kotodre, if you could let me do the example. You are saying, every knee shall what? 
Every knees are what? You are in the church to worshiping. Worship time. Every knees are about. The Christians say, go to the like this. If they go to the you on the ground. You are joking. You say you are worshiping. You have to do like this. Then your head is on the ground. You understand? Yes! I'll prove it to you. That is why you say, if you want to worship me, worship me in what? Spirit. And in what? That is the truth. Is it not the truth I'm telling yes, people? Hmm, you, you don't know. Brah. You understand? Yes. There are so many things Christians you have to know. Worship is a serious work. It's a serious act. It's not a joke. <laughs> Nanado, praying Nanado should come here. See the way you rush going to meet Nanado. <laughs> ah, president is coming to my house. You dear, the God is already in your house. So. Look at the way you are treating your God. <clears throat> so God says he does not recognize you. Does not see your pastors. Your pastors are not telling the truth, so you also lost. You get me? It's like having a good teacher. If you have a good teacher and you're also a good student, no matter what, you pass the exam. <coughs> True or false? Sure. <laughs> when I go to church and I see them singing that song, I laugh for some. But you say every knee is about, but your knee is hanging in the air. <laughs> so why is the kutodun on the ground? See, the Christians, they are even sick. The bow in Christ is problem for them. Because sickness is diabetes. BP. Hmm? They even have the Kotoje problem. What is Why is com that is the word. Why is common pepper? Pepper is the solution. Green pepper. There's two green pepper. One, two, money, and even money. One week. One week. Three days to punish. Your pastor don't know this one. When you have the money, you say go to hospital. And you say you're a pastor. You are a such caricature. Shit. Yeah. Sure. Hmm. Ask me another question. Yeah. It's getting interesting and at the same time it's getting sad because we like that we lack a lot of knowledge. Uh -huh. The Bible says that because we lack knowledge, we are perishing. Uh, send me to the Holy Spirit for again. We didn't finish. Send me there. Hmm. Let me open the eyes of Christians. Pastors who open, who open TV stations and they are talking nonsense. They will not preach the true word of God. For Christians to be liberated, people, Christians are suffering. Ah, me there if I see crime time. Hold here four verses. We were, we didn't finish. Yeah. You just start again for me. Hosea chapter four verse six. Uh -huh. My people are destroyed because they do not know me. It's okay. Hmm. God says his people are what? Destroyed. You will suffer. You will die. Poverty will strike you when you don't know God. When you don't know how to worship God. Mm. Herbs are here. Bow the herbs. You don't even um, sell them. If you go and buy them at two CD. Bow the hands and solve your problems. You are there doing fasting and prayers. The fasters need to. The way we do, we are wise. Me, you come and see me, see so crop. Some brodo, some bread, and some, how do we call it? In Kosia, in my bread. Hey, the pastors who have been doing fasting, I'm come to, I'm come to reveal their secrets. If your pastor tells you four days, one week, two weeks fasting, go to the house, go to your pastor's house. As early as 5 five thirty or 5 o'clock, we say, oh, pastor, I'm coming to visit you. If you hear the smell of food in the house, sir, then the pastor is what? As a pastor. If you are fasting, do you hear the smell of food in the house? Do you hear like food? Eh? With the smell of chicken? No, please. Kotoje inside? No. Beef inside? No, please. The Abidjan fish, 6 o'clock, pastor, sir, do you have the smell? No, I say, if you want to catch your pastors, 6, 5.30, Go, oh, pastor, I am come to visit you. You will see him with the ayua on the table. Fufu and a bell coin. Shepherd, you will chop. So if he comes at 7 o'clock, you will say, oh, nyami asum bienke, God bless you. The stomach is filled. You are there behind you. Sis, when, when, before sex, you You see pastors, you know, when you go to the missing house, they have some ghetto in the missing house. Go and look at the fridge. Don't see more. Don't come in. Don't, don't. All of them, they are inside. They are just different short bread biscuits. <laughs> hey, tea bread is there. Butter bread, brown bread. You know, call the boy. Call the boy. The Kaleskales bread, you know. Some cry is there. You the follow class one pastor. But I've been telling you. <laughs> ah, when was the last time a pastor said, Oh, my church members, correction every day you have been bringing. Today, the correction, let's give it to the church members. Will it happen? Hey, it's not in Ghana. It will never happen in Ghana. Pastors don't think of their flock. God will ask them. Because as a shepherd, you take care of your heart. You don't have to let one of your animal girlfriend hang you. See, you know how people are crying in churches. 
To the extent that now, if you don't have connection, you are not going to church. Because the pastors will collect the connection and talk. Let them bring the connection and ask, Oh, Auntie, your son finished university. Have you been able to send him to further his education? They will never ask. If you are blind, you will never learn. Ha, be wise. So the Bible said, during the end times, you will bring, you put the anointing on the young people. Are you not young? Yeah. Are you 72 years? No, we are in our 30s. Look at the way we are doing the work of God. We don't fear anything. You understand? Only God will fear. We will preach the gospel. We will tell the truth. Because we are both spiritual and truthful what? men of God. You understand? Mm -hmm. So, and the question. Correct. Ah, the prayers issue. So, the prayers, you know. Ah, don't be praying in the, in, the, in the night. That time is purposely made for evil forces. They are supposed to come to the work, to the work, to the work, and they, they should do their work. We have certain work we have to do. You see, there are times we summon people to evil spirits. So, so um, don't say, you, I will give your body to Satan, but your soul, I will give it to God. Some pastor, one time, one pastor came to tell me, ah, he's doing church, some nonsense man come, come and scatter the church, fight with the pastor, slap, slap the fight, and I say, hey, me, whilst I am here, I show him some wicked direction. Go and do it. Hey, buy this, buy this. Mention the name of that person. Go and do it in the toilet. That is all. We are finishing. Because if it is the work of God on one year, and you try to counter me, I'll counter you well. Because I'm ten drilling, drilling. If I want to drill you up, hmm, I do. only God can stop. You see? Hmm. So, prayers in the air. Don't be praying in the night. Yes, we do evil works in the night. Because when you pray, when the prayers are descending, no angels are there to receive it. You see, there's a spirit called Media and Persia. In the night, he is, he is those two spirits. There are other ones, they are operating. So when you pray, they counter the prayers and bring it back. Daniel, one of the greatest prophets, his prayers prayer was what? Was counted, it was captured. 21 days until we sent another strong angel, Michael, to come and fight the angel. You know, you are not even up to Daniel, what a hope. And you are praying in the night. <laughs> you see, we are, we are lost. See, me, if I am not wise, could I, I'll ask myself, I've gone to test five years, ten years, fifteen years, I have not gotten any solution. What is wrong? Ask myself. But are you not true? It's true. So many have been to churches. Ask yourself, what is wrong? God, what have I done? God is telling you that you do whatever you like. You don't follow his laws. You get me? So, in the pray, three o'clock, you see our fellow Muslims, three o'clock, don't they pray? Five times a day, do bow and worship God five times a day. As Christians, how many times they pray? Kai kai hiri baba hiri baba hiri baba da in one city. The South Rains cry, you can't pay. Students, you can't pay. You have to know that something is wrong somewhere. Sick, strong men of God. Men with knowledge, wisdom, and what? Like King Solomon. You get me? Yes! <laughs> so, prayers should be at 3 o'clock to 5 o'clock. You have to pray. That is one revelation. Hmm. Pray at that time. Yes. Um, and which one again? That is on the prayers. Now, and the prayers to don't be praying and say, I break, I rebuke. No. You, if you go and do the fighter, they'll kill you. You don't have the strength. So, people who pray a lot, they die. Eh? They die. In. But they are praying, they are fighting um, um, evil spirits. Rulers of darkness, do you know their magnitude? Hey, spiritual marriage, that, that spirit, you know, hmm, is what they do. It's a very strong and stubborn spirit. Spiritual marriage. They are, they are, in their world, you know, there are different types. We have spiritual marriage responsible for masturbation. That is why someone has spiritual marriage is also, is always masturbating. We have spirits that control those who bring poverty and hardship. The same spiritual marriage. We also have spiritual marriage that make people mad. Spiritual marriage that causes accident. See, even them, their power is not small. When you say you are praying again. So someone will pray five years. So spiritual marriage is there. Ask yourself, what is the problem? Wrong prayers. When you are praying, you use the key. Holy Ghost. Holy what? Yes. Holy what? Ghost. It is a powerful angel or spirit. Him, no, his work is distraction. You understand? He is it's like you've gotten um, um, arm robbers in your house. Who do you call? To call the police. Yes, the police know. 
Do you call the class one police collecting one CD on the road? No, 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 no. Which one do you call? Serious ones. Thank you. The swats. Yeah. The stronger ones. No. That is what Christian you are supposed to do. You have to call the Holy Ghost to come and fight the battle for you. You understand? Don't say I look me boo boo me be it will never work. Call the Holy Ghost. It's a strong spirit. <laughs> he will go and fight the battle for you. So Christians, prayers with no results. I'll give you another solution. When you are praying, use holy word, good. Whatever you need. Any good thing you want. Use holy word, holy word, spirit. Him know he is the comforter. He does holy good things. He says spirit which is holy. He does holy good things. You see, now people will be in churches. Let's pray against our enemies. Hey! God, kill my enemy for me. Ah, so you are telling God to go and kill another human being. You see, one prays. How do you tell God to go and kill your enemy? Because of what? Your hardships. Your promise and fear. Your marriage take care. The Almighty God to kill another member he likes, he loves. He gave his only begotten son so that our sins will be forgiven. You know? Because of your lack of knowledge. In question, same prayers. Kill my enemy for me. You see the way pastors are deceiving people. Pastor, is it true or false? Yeah, this, have you prayed that kind of prayer before? No, <laughs> See, the more you pray against your enemy, the more your enemy gets strong. Yes. And you too are suffering. Sure, God is so loving to the extent that he wants that evil person to also change and come and worship you. True or false? So why are you telling me that I'm praying against our enemy? We don't pray against enemy. We work against what? This is one of the two we use. When you buff helps, your enemies can never get you. Which is a means that evil spirit, they fear the heavens. Because these ones, you know, they were created with power. That is why Satan rebelled God. Because God gave mandate to all about everything in the Garden of Eden, including the heavens. He knew the power in him. So Satan knew that, ah, God, bah. all these powers, we've given to only one man. Then what will I have? So Satan feared him. That was the one of the reasons he rebelled. So when you bath the heavens now, Brother, who is rich? Who is promised and free? Disappointment, hardships, it will never get you. That is why I advise my pastors. They have to be buffing what? Helps. Curses. Curses. Helps will take away all of them. Pastor, let's go. What question do you have? So, Rev, my mm -hmm. next question, uh -huh. um, that could really bring us to the end of our discussion today. Okay. Is that, mm -hmm. it is said that, mm -hmm. Before something happens in the physical, yes, it has already taken place in the spiritual. Uh -huh. Rev, if it is true, uh -huh. me as a Christian, uh -huh. how can I prevent an evil thing mm -hmm. or allow a positive thing mm -hmm. in the spirit that I've seen in my dream yes. to take place or okay. to stop it from taking place? There are so many solutions. Now, Genesis 1 verse 3 or 1-1. One, one. You descend to Genesis 1-1. One, one. Genesis 1-1. One, one. Let me give you one answer there. Genesis chapter 1, mm -hmm. verse 1. Yes. When God began creating the heavens and the earth, okay. the earth was at first a shapeless and chaotic mess uh -huh. with the spirit of God brooding mm -hmm. over the dark vapors. It's okay. Now, in the Bible or in the scriptures, when we talk about darkness, darkness represents evil things. You understand Promise and fail, hardship, sickness, financial constraints, barriers, jokes, obstacles, enemies, evil things, evil workers. Every bad thing we are represent darkness. So God Himself He experienced darkness, mm. which is problem. Mm. Start there with the verse one again. Let me say it to you. When God began creating the heavens and the earth, uh -huh. the earth was at first a shapeless and chaotic mess. It's okay. Now, shapeless, shapeless. Chaotic, confusion, mm -hmm. disorderly, mm -hmm. formless. These are problems. Uh -huh. Let's go. With the spirit of God uh -huh. brooding over the dark vapors. Now, the Bible said, now the spirit of God came to counter the earth, the problems. That is the darkness. Now, what is the spirit of God? Is it not the Holy Spirit? Yes, it is. Yes. Holy Spirit. God, God got stuck. He said, ah, that thing I'm creating, I'm not seeing top. I'm not seeing top. This one is hard for me. Let me bring my spirit. So the spirit of God, which is the Holy Spirit, it came to counter the what? You see, it was brooding, or it covered the what? The chaotic nature of what? The creation. Continue. Uh -huh. 
Then God said. Then now God had the power to say that. You see, when the Holy Spirit came, you know, God now had power. To what? Uh huh. And God said. And God said, "Let there be light. Let there be what? And light appear." <laughs> so that is the Holy Spirit there. What was your question? My question is that uh -huh. as a Christian, as a Christian, I've heard that mm -hmm. before something happens in the physical, it happens in the what? It happens in the spiritual. Yes. So me as a Christian, uh -huh. I had a dream mm -hmm. of something bad mm -hmm. that has happened. Yes. Or something good uh -huh. that happened. Mm -hmm. What can I do? The first thing is the answer. Use the Holy Spirit to mm -hmm. pray. Use the what? Holy Spirit to pray. That button, the Holy Spirit will go and counter it. So me, you know, when I, I'm praying, I don't just pray. I don't pray and pray with God or Jesus. I use what? The Holy Spirit. God came, we are talking to God. He brought Jesus. Jesus came. He said, I am living. I live who? The Holy Spirit. Straight. Very simple. So people pray left and right, no result. Mm. So God, Jesus said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No one comes to the Father except through what? True. That was when he was on earth. Yeah. When he left, he said, Now the way is through who? The Holy Spirit. So pass through the Holy Spirit to him to what? So when you have problems and you are praying in Jesus' name, in Jesus' name, nothing happens. We have all done it. We saw nothing. But go ahead and try it today. Use the Holy Spirit to pray and let's see. Me, I like proof. I like challenge rough. You understand? Go ahead and pray with your problems. Use Holy Spirit and let's see if it will not work or not. That is one answer. Yes. Spirit. Go ahead and worship him in truth and in what? In spirit. Now, ask the Christians, ask our people, which spiritual work are they doing? Anointing oil is one of the spiritual work. Helps, bathing of them, spiritual way. Perfumes, it's one of the spiritual art. works. Incense, spiritual art. works. Now, you have a dream. Mm -hmm. That is why I told you in the evening or in the night when you sleep, your spirit moves out. Yeah. God takes your spirit away mm -hmm. to go and look at what is happening. Yeah. That is the way God speaks to every human being. Something, he go to your spirit somewhere. That is why when you sleep, you, you sleep like a dead person. Yeah. Your spirit is out of you. It goes to Rome. The bad areas, God will send you there. You see, Kofi, you see these people, people are chasing you. Uh -huh, and you flew. Uh, ah. Then your spirit will come back to life. Then you say, ah, wake up now. Hey, people chasing me. God is telling you that you are being pursued by your enemies mm -hmm. or riches. So do something about what? About it. So, it, the, 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 the bad thing which is supposed to happen to you has already happened in the spiritual realm. So, physically, when you wake up, you say, Hey, this is me. The way people were chasing me with Kontiba and Gatlasano. If it had not been God and I flew up, I would have been dead. Yes. That is why someone can dream and you pierce him or her with a knife. You wake up physically, blood is coming. Mm -hmm. But you know, yeah. yes, so anything happens in the spiritual world before the physical. So if you have such things, there are spiritual works you have to do. You have to look for stronger spiritual men of God. You see, the issue is they are very hard to find these days. Yes, the two spiritual men, they are very hard to, what, to find. That is why people are roaming, hovering left and right. So you have to be doing a lot of spiritual work. One of them is calling a spiritual man or going to see a spiritual pastor. Then the pastor will look into your life, go into your family, read your life like how I have been doing it. You call him here, madam. You don't even have time to come to my my place. Just send me 50 Ghana. I need your name and your mother's name. I'll look into your family and I'll tell you whatever is happening there. I will see your dream, everything. Then I will give you spiritual solution, which is written in Hebrews 9, verse 9. I will just show you go and buy these food items. Add this thing, add this thing, and go and give to the poor. I'm not the one who said it. God who said it. Now, when you don't have a pastor who can see and give you spiritual solutions, are you not suffering? Are you not doomed? Thousand years no point time you suffer. You understand? Because many people have evil dreams. It is good to have dreams because God is showing you what is a fall of your life, whether good or bad. For you to become successful in life, it depends on your dreams. I say I will have time and talk about dreams. Give meanings of dreams. When you see a dog in a dream, it is a witch. When you see a goat, it is a stubborn word, witch. Mm. Yes. A goat. They are every day. 
especially the black ones and the red ones. Any goat in your dream, be careful. It is a witch. Now, when you see the, the slimmer ones, they are stubborn, the, the slimmer goat, the slimmer goat, and the dogs, no? they are all witches. Now, people will say, I was in a dream and people were chasing me and I flew, so I am strong. You are a stupid human being. If you don't take time, the cow will knock you and die. Your enemies are pursuing you. So God is telling you that look for a spiritual man of God who can deliver you from your hands, the hands of God. Your enemies. You get me? Yes. <laughs> now, before the earth came, the spirit, which is God, he did everything spiritually before man. So, for something to happen, that is why some people would dream and they'll say, I saw um, picking money. God is telling them, work hard and get what? Money. So, anything that will happen, happens in the spiritual world. That is why in our families, you know, we have people who are rich and wizard. <laughs> we have people who can see. They, when they give birth to you, they can see that this guy will be a great person. Like how Herod, you know, he saw it and um, Jesus star. This one, I've heard he is a king. Let me go and check. He went and check. Then he threw Jesus will be a great star. He will disturb you. So they will try to kill you. So everything happens in the spiritual. Do you know that if you buy a car, one day, spirituality is already there. Yes, that is why some people will say, ah, I'm expecting this money. I'm expecting this thing. I have plenty of things in my life. I have struggled, tossed, but they are not coming through. Do you know why? All of them are there in the spiritual realm. But spirits, evil spirits have blocked or captured them. We call a place called spiritual camp. Enemies' spiritual camp. When you go there, you see people's money, their success, their favor, their marriages, their works. You see, their dreams, all are packed there. Now, if you don't have a strong man of God, how can he enter there? Let me teach you the way we deliver people from witchcraft. When you reach, reach, reach the witches, you know, and the wizard, when they capture someone, life. Hey, do you know what we do? We don't rush. People are funny. We don't rush. That's why we don't play against witches. We work. See, in the night that the witches have gone to their meetings, you know, they've left them. Now, they've, they've tied your spirits there. Me, you know, the time we go, maybe if they go out to drop dead, I will tie my uh, one o'clock down, enter. When I enter, nobody is there. You see, because they've all left to a camp and they meet. They are going to release that person from the spiritual camp. When they come now, ah, where is Mr. Kofi? Hey, someone have come to take Mr. Kofi. We didn't see the person. Then you are free. That is how you work with spirits. That's why we work with you. You see, we don't even go when they are there. Because it will be a battle. Even though you can fight them, they know you are a strong man of God, but we work with peace. Understand? We work with what? Peace. When they are not there, that is where I'll get much power. I'll go and deliver the person. I'll go and take your money, your favor, your success, your traveling for you. As simple as that. You understand? Yes, me, when I see your, your family member is a witch, I look at, I'll not tell you your father or your mother is a witch. And so what? They are helping me. If they don't do you, how will you bring me money? Mm. I, I, I can't for it so. I pray for them. They should do people so that people too bring me money. So for I'm suffering my business, my listening. Uh huh. Okay. They say it's a witch. I say you. They will say in my head, witch. I thank you, but I do Mr. Kofi. Mr. Kofi will bring me money. I will talk. Uh, if you don't protect yourself, our witches will do you. Yeah. Yes. Let them do people so that me too I get the money. So you they don't protect yourself. I said I'm not here. Yeah, it's here. This one, which is medicine, they don't like. Come and buy it, you are not buying. People are buying. I'm giving it to them. You'll be there. The day I will increase it to five million. You see your nonsense. People are joking. People take, don't take their life serious. And you suffer. You understand? <laughs> so, Pastor, any question again? I think well, for now we are done with our question. Okay, okay. But, okay. Um, if there is anything else you think you can add it. Ah, okay. Let me teach more things. To my people. As for the coconut, they have taught you. I have cocoa leaves here. The dry one, cocoa leaves. Uh -huh. People who are who are um, fat have a lot of cholesterol. They want to reduce um, their body fat. Uh -huh. People are buying unnecessary medicine, drinking. Look for this one, the cocoa leaves. Get oranges, fight. Don't peel it. Uh, cut the oranges into four parts. Don't peel it. Add, uh, what is the name? Lime. About 10. Uh -huh. They look for what we call attire. Attire. You know attire. The green tea that people Muslims have been drinking. Combine it with the, um, the cocoa leaves. Drink morning, evening, morning, evening, and you will see naturally. 
nothing will happen to you. You become very what? Strong. You get him? Yes. yes. Now, my fellow Africans and black people, me, I'm proud to be African. Yes. If I were to be in Germany, I'll, I'll, be, I'll be chasing goats right. by now. Hmm? I'll be riding pigs. Here, they are my pastor here, and I'm happy. Yes, herbs. Because God gave me herbs to be using. Me, I don't have time to go to hospital. The doctor cries sick. He cries, needs my attention. How much more you? You, go and look for herbs, natural. Stop the, the chemical, the chemical. I have some platform, what's up? Some doctor is talking nonsense there, he's funny. He said, no one can treat his diabetes and his friends. I say, he should come. He should come. He should come and let me show him power. If you don't know that thing, you are talking nonsense. Hmm. Stop taking the white man medicine. Look for the local herbs. I don't know the kind of help God has not gifted or given me the knowledge. In. I have all the helps. Now, <coughs> yesterday I made a video. Um, I was throwing challenge. I've been saying in the land of powers, there is no argument. If you are powerful, you are powerful. No one will see. I'm looking for cases. Serious cases. Sickness. Diabetes. The doctor said tomorrow you will die. That is the one I like. HIV. The nonsense white man said there is no medicine. That is what the one I like. Now, they've done you do. Your leg has swollen. Your nose, your mouth, your stomach. Mm -hmm. If it is scarce, bring it. Me, I am here. Me and my God, we are here. We will treat you. Serious problems. The one doctors has declared you. Someone said, Doctor, declare. Pick your things and come to the house of God. They what? They will treat you. Serious problems. Bring it and let me show you where the power lies. Now, um, my pastors, where are you? Yes, you've been disturbing me too much. Yesterday, I made the video. Today, let me repeat. Hmm. Nothing is gotten on this planet you free. You want spiritual eyes? Spiritual eyes. Hey, see, Ghanaian pastors, they wear their two know. Hmm? Pastor, help me with the spiritual eye. Spiritual eye. Do you know why? They just want to go to the church. And they say, Madam, stand up. And they are so pretty on your head. And your family member name is Adra Sewa. And you say this. And you say, yeah, you are for yeah, they are happy. Do you know what? Who you are and his friends? Do not look for solutions to solve problems for people. They are looking for spiritual eye. This same person looking for the spiritual eye, when you tell him to go to the cemetery, 10, 30, not even 12, he can go. Ah, more than afraid. You see, you think seeing spirit is a dope. Seeing spirit, you think it's a dope. So they want to see spiritually. Me, they don't have problem. We have levels. If you have 250 million, 25,000 Ghana, come. Hmm. If you like go and bring um, co um, chief commander or, say, hmm, or chief justice, that some pastor called Samuel Abiola says, you, you open the eye or you do work for the eyes to see spiritually. You will see spirits. You will see ghosts. Hmm. Ghost, we are women with ghosts. Demons, powers, we are roaming with them, just that we don't see. We are even passing through people, but they don't know. You understand? And the, the, the amount is too much. 25,000 Ghana. So if he does it and it doesn't work, catch him, go and put him in his own prison. Don't feed him, could I give him only ice water and sobolo for him to rot there? If you put him in there, I will disappear and come out. Yes. Hmm. So that one, send, go and get documents that 250,000. I say I will open your eye. If I cannot do it, they should catch me and let's see power. But I'll tell you, you, don't, you have to get the heart. The heart, because they don't have. They don't have the heart. So we will prepare you. What the Nigerians have been saying, we will fortify you for you to get strong heart, a stubborn heart. Mm -hmm. Yes, you know the heart of a buffalo, highly strong. Ah, day or night, here you will fight and die. That is the heart you have to have as a man of God. Me, I have a fucking heart. You see me like that. Don't try me, crap. So, those who want to see, you know, uh, me, I am there. If you don't have the heart, we will prepare you, we will fortify you for you, for you to have strong heart, um, heart to, to be seen spirit. But, we have to train you first. It's not that you see some spirit, now you go and talk. Hey, where are you going? You, the answer you give you, you see if you not run mad at, you have to learn how to keep quiet. Hey, me, I see spirit. They are doing their things. I don't mind them. You understand? I pass my way. I go. That is all. You understand? Hmm. So, if you have 25,000, yeah, come. If you don't have her, don't disturb me again. Two? 200 million is how much? 20,000. 
20,000 Ghana cities. Yes, secret. You can call me. We will do the deal. Mm -hmm. I will give you the, the second level. No? Some people will pass that. I want to see very far. Look at someone. You don't even know what this help could I can do. You say you want to see far. Hey! <laughs> I don't know where, where they want to see again. Hmm. You there, you are joking. You no cry, you want to see cry. You are carrying problems on your head. You are even spiritual marriage car for marrying you. You say you want to see. You've not finished your problem. Yo, the first level is um, how much? 15,000 Ghana. You know this money, you know? It takes only serious people to get it. Is it not true? Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Tell me, Pastor, uh, help me with spiritual. They are carrying this, 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 they give you. You are joking. Hmm. No spiritualist crowd would do it if not me have come out. Who? So if you have 15,000 Ghana and you are serious, sir, this is not chatting matter. You call me, you come and see me. Me, there, my house is here. I'm here. I don't fear nothing. I'll prove it to you. You will see spirits. <laughs> Physical, feeling, do it. It's not in the Practical. What you say? Yes. So 15,000 level is there. 20,000 level is there. 25,000 level is what? There. If you don't have a please, don't call me. Don't tell me you want to see me. Because it is not charged things. These are not charges what? Things. These are not plates. You understand? Yes. The ingredients or the items I even need to do such West Clan. You can have never seen some before. Ah, I can hear who has seen a fish with one eye before. <laughs> I fish you. God created a certain fish with one heart. I yes, it exists. It exists. One day I'll prove it. I'll bring uh, me there. I say if you meet me, it's like you've met Satan firstborn. I'm mm. dangerous enough. <laughs> hmm? Hmm. I do. Sure. Don't you go, Master? What I know in this mind, Boko not know. If I release two, ah, na na no crowd catch me. What I know, no. see. That kind of fish, you know, it has only one eye. That is how God created it. See, you know lotto number. See, we can remove lotto number. Two numbers, three numbers, four numbers. Five correct lotto numbers for you. Using that kind of fish. The fish has only physical one eye. But that one eye is also a spiritual eye. So that one eye that it has, you know, it can see everything under the sun. That is why God gave it one eye. It is used for spiritual works. You can be here. You see, you, you can see Nanado's room. Where he has packed his money, you can see. You understand? Don't do <laughs> When it comes to spiritual work, so God said, there is not a territory. Call it unto me in your times of trouble. And I'll do what? I'll show you. Hidden things. You never know. I'm teaching Christians. It is not about prayers. You understand? You need knowledge. So God has a lack of knowledge. You what? You die. Me and me, I don't fear anything. What do I fear apart from my creator? Yes, if I cannot do it, I will not talk. What I know is what I know. What I can prove is what I will prove. 15,000, bring it. I have to get uh, the horse. You know the horse, or no? Uh -huh. The horse eye, two eyes. You know the horse is a spiritual animal. If you know the one arm, the spirit holding one arm of a horse, cry. Mm -hmm. you, the people don't know anything here. The physics of horses, cry, which is fear. Common physics of horses. Of, of horses. Physics of cow, cow. That is what I used to do in sense. Go and gather cow feces, the dry one. You see? Dry, dry it. Or if it's already, go and gather it. Burn it in your house and see it's on which. Or your problem cow will not be so far. Feces take care of cows or horses. You burn them as incense. Brother, you break through today. <laughs> you don't know it yet. So he who has power or knowledge does not talk much. Yes. If you are ready, my number is there. You can look for it. Call me, Pastor. I am serious. I want spiritual eye. It is good. You have to get spiritual eye. Abraham, our father, he was not a pastor or a prophet, but he had the spiritual eyes to see that angels were what? <laughs> you, you've gone to church 20 years, but you don't know that Abraham had spiritual eyes to see. But he was not a pastor. He was sitting down one after thinking about himself. Like that, uh, then three men, God sent them. You understand? To come, to travel to somewhere. And when they were coming, Abraham saw that ah, this kind of human beings here, they are not physical human beings. They are spirits in the form of what? Human beings. They are angels. If you don't have spiritual eye, how can you see? You understand? So it doesn't matter as to if you are a pastor or not. As a human being, as a strong man, 
you have to get spiritual out. I, head of companies, they are taking them to, to, to do it. plenty. Of what are the friends? You see? Yes. If you are head in your family, you have big companies. No, no matter what, you have enemies. You have to get spiritual eye. You see? So that you can protect yourself. You get me? Yes. Like that. Uh -huh. So if you are ready, the money is not a joke. So you will see us. Mm, now and if you are ready, I will prove it to you. And I will show you. Two eyes of the horse is what we need. How much is the horse for that itself? Pastor, is it dope? Uh -huh. Serious matter. Abba, I like the word. It's a what? Serious matter. It's a serious matter. That is why I'm a serious pastor. You get me? I mean, I don't do bro. <laughs> so if you have a tap, uh, we need two eyes of a horse. Now, let me quote it in the Bible for you. A man was riding on a horse. Was it the king? Ah, uh, a prophet. He was riding on a horse. Now, a man he was riding on a horse. He was going to attack the men of God. Now, when he was moving, riding, going with the evil intention of going to attack men of God, the, the horse was moving and he saw an angel with a sword in the hand. And he threw the brick. And he said, hey, I will not let my master die. Because the horse saw a spirit. Because the, the eyes are already naturally spiritual eyes. They see the physical and the spiritual. So he stopped. Then he said, hey, master, I will not go. The master beat him, strike him to the extent that the, the horse started what, talking to him. Say you don't know what I see. You don't know what I want. See, if you knew what I saw, an angel, another spirit in front of me or of us, holding a sword to strike you up, can you tell? Let us turn back. So we need. You see, that is nature. God created them. If you don't have their knowledge, you will be talking nonsense. You understand? Someone will use contumely for students. I will use contumely to turn someone's life into good. You understand? Look at this one. Look at this one. Let me dash this one to keep it. Hey, have you seen this one? This lady. Apart from this one, the Dokono. This one. Uh, this one. Kepi. You know this one is for Dundee. Yes. Mm. Typhoid fever. Mm -hmm. Malaria is bonus. This one. Now, the water of this one, when they kill someone, you want to find the person who killed it. The water of this one. Where you get to be like this. Three days, the person who killed the person will come out. Simple. This one. Blood tonic, blood tonic, natural blood tonic, mojeduro is this. Natural mojeduro, why are you going to buy white man mojeduro for what? Why this one is here? Free of charge. What are you talking about? This one is salmon. Swollen body, swollen leg, swollen stomach. Pot belly. Add this one with attire, attire. Uh -huh. And some local red salt. That salt the people can't get. Uh -huh. Me, I can get it. They mash it. Every kind of swollen body, swollen body. Kidney, kidney, swollen kidney. This one, the two of them. For poor leaf, the dry one. It will kill it one time. Uh -huh. This one too is here. For protection. Easy to bath your babies. God will die before I die. Easy to bath your babies, your children, you yourself. Mass it, pound, sieve and bath for strong protection, for good luck and favor. That is all. So the spiritual idea. 15,000, you get level 1. Um, 20,000, level 2. Then the, this thing. What is the name? The 25,000, level 3. Uh -huh. Me, I, mean, I don't use my spiritual eye. I don't have time. Mm -hmm. I don't have time. When you come, everything I know, that I tell you everything about your life. Give you solution. That is the most important thing. Mm -hmm. Do you know why I don't like using it like that? If you want to use it plenty, yeah. brother. If you don't take time, right, you will go blind in your old age. But they are like telling the truth. Yes. Because uh -huh. you become more strong when you have spiritual eye. You command spirits. Spirit free you. They know that you can see them. So they fear you. But when you are not trained on how to use it, uh, when you see spirits, you shake. You will run mad. You see trees, your head turn over. They are moving up and down. You get me? Yes. So you have to get knowledge in everything before you do. Uh -huh. So we need the two eyes of a horse. Donkey has two eyes. Spiritual eyes. Yes. The fish I said. Black horse. Cat. Uh -huh. I'll end it here. We don't talk plenty on Saturday. So that is it. Reverend Samuel. Media, I'm here. Hey. Don't bring me class on problems. No. I'm not ready. Don't come for solutions with free intentions. Tomato cry. It is costly now. Not to talk of okro. The spiritual way. If you have the money, come. We will help you. I'm not joking. You understand? Last time I went to buy Okro, 
two CD. The woman gave me three. I said, Mommy, I didn't see it. It's not my fault. So I can I talk and go and look? Hmm? Yo, so look for money uh -huh, and come. And I will show you the, the, the solution to the problem. Me, I don't work. That it will last one week. One week there is too much. Unless we are healing. Uh -huh. But the healing, you can have levels. If they do you, they do, do the medicine. No? Uh -huh. The one which is moving in your body. Or the one that makes your legs move. I want the one people have room. Left and right, they are not finding solutions. Those are the ones I like. Say, Pastor, me cheese, sir, I've gone here, I've come here, I've gone here, I've come here. Yes! These are the problems I want. Bring it! And let me show you power. Reverend Sam, I will not talk plenty. My number. Or I will not put the number down. Yes, I will not put the number down. If you need something, you said. The Bible says, Matthew 7, 7. Ask and you shall what? Give me. Seek and you shall what? Knock and you shall what? Open. So, I'm not the one, I need the people. People who rather need who? So they have to ask. I'm not pastor, I sell myself. If you need me, are you what? You come. But I've told you, they are pastors and they are what? Pastors. They are, they are prophets and they are what? Prophets. They are preachers and they are what? They are teachers and they are what? They are spiritualists and they are spiritual what? You don't talk plenty, that is all. So if you need me, search for my number. Whether on Facebook or WhatsApp or me, I don't care. If you look for me, I will help you. That is all. What would you say to them? Thank them so much. Yes. Sharing our video. Okay. And also being part of this wonderful deep discussion. Okay. We believe that it has been a blessing okay, to everybody that um, had the time to watch us this evening. We are grateful. We say God bless all of them. Okay. And they should put all that we have said here into practice. Yes. If they want to see Rev, just like Rev said, look for his number. That's right. on Facebook or on WhatsApp and give him a call. Okay. And your problem will be solved. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.